So it's really an important milestone when you start working on off the string bow strokes. And one of our most important ones being a spiccato stroke. Now basically what a spiccato stroke is something like that. It comes off the string and basically the stick and the hair are pretty much moving together and this is the shape of the path of the bow, more or less, a little kind of smiley face thing. Um, and there are a few ways you can work on developing your spiccato. First thing you really need to get good at doing is letting your bow bounce. So just to start out, drop your bow from above. Don't do anything, I'm, I'm barely holding on and just let it keep bouncing until it's ready to stop. Helps if you really start this from considerably farther above, that way it will get the best chance of getting a bounce. Now once that feels comfortable and you feel like your hand is really not doing hardly anything to make that work, try it in a down bow direction and an up bow direction. So it's the same exact thing, but now my arm is moving, either down or up. Again, my hand is still pretty much doing nothing. I can just ride that out as long as I want, right? Until it stops bouncing all by itself. Good next step is to get some control over those bounces. All right, so maybe I'll pick a number like five, let's say, and I want to let my bow bounce exactly five times, and then I'm going to pick it up. Um, so I hope this goes well for me. There you go, one, two, three, four, five. Oops. Again, you can hear maybe that one or two sixes snuck in there. Um, but what I'm doing basically is that same kind of just dropping my bow, moving in a down bow direction, and then when I've heard the right number of bounces, I just lift up with my pinky. All right, and that's pretty much, this is responsible for the lift up. I'm not doing a whole lot more than that, so. And there is a little bit of that hook with first finger too that helps me get off the string. Once five feels comfortable, move it down to four. Okay, and I wanted to mention, um, this is not that I'm dropping it four separate times. I'm not going drop, 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 drop. That would be something slightly different. I'm dropping once and picking up after four bounces. One, two, three, four. Oops, that's five. Well, whatever. You get the idea. Then, once you're good at four, go down to three. Or two. And eventually, one. Or you might even do one, one, one. And then you start connecting those together. Now, once you feel pretty good doing that sort of out in the upper half of the bow, and I should have mentioned, this, this process should all be done in the upper half of the bow, um, you can start speeding it up and moving it down. So get that bounce out here. Pretty free, pretty wild, not particularly controlled or beautiful. And little by little, I'm going to scoot it down in the bow and speed it up. Okay? Try that again. So I start out here. in the bow. And you'll feel like as you come in, there is a slight, your, your hand will firm up slightly. Now do I mean squeeze? No, I definitely do not mean squeeze. Squeezing will kill this bow stroke. But I mean the degree of movement in here that you experience out at the tip, it's going to be slightly more restricted at the frog as your, your hand um, just feels a little firmer. I should also mention the degree of success that you have with this bow stroke is largely dependent upon your bow. There are some bows that for the life of me, I can't get them to bounce. And I always say with my students, I always, I always try their bow first, figure out, can I do it with their bow? And if I can't do it with their bow, then I do not ask my students to do it with their bow. So you might um, consider asking someone who knows how to do this to try it with your bow. If they can't do it, well, buy a new bow, I guess. Um, and that's it for, oh, no, that's not it for spiccato. Sorry, another way of working on this, I should have mentioned. Um, you can kind of add bounces one at a time. So let's say we're going to start around here at the balance point, and maybe I'll just do one. 
right? And I'm not even concerned with what the sound quality is or if I hit more than one string, one bouncing off. Once that feels comfortable, I put another one with it. And that's a real quick down up. Down up. You always want to start this down bow. Down up. Down up. Okay, then maybe three. Okay, and etc. etc. Et that can be another way to work on this. Um, and uh, good luck. <laughs>